So some of the trickiest trinomials to factor are the ones if the leading coefficient isn't 1. So here's an example for us to take a look at. 8x squared plus 14x plus 3. So again, our goal is to get to the place where we have two sets of parentheses such that if we multiply them, we would get back up there. Some things to think about. We know the two pieces in the first positions need to multiply together to give me the 8x squared, and the two last positions need to multiply together to give me 3. The 3 is positive, so they both need to be positive, or both need to be the same signs. The 14x is plus, so they both need to be plus. So, we could go through this by guessing and checking, but I have a better way to do it. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take that leading coefficient, 8, and multiply it by the constant term, 3. That gets us to 24. And now we're going to look for a pair of factors. So now we need a pair of factors of 24. And again, since that 3 is positive, we need the pair that adds to give 14. And so you can make your list. I'll go ahead and help us out. It's 12 and 2, right? That's the pair. They multiply to 24 and they add to give 14. So now, the way I've been doing it is I'm going to take that 14x up here and I'm going to rewrite it in terms of this pair that we just found. Everybody else is going to stay the same. So I'll have 8x squared plus 12x plus 2x plus 3. So I've gone from my trinomial, three terms, into this polynomial that has four terms. Again, my job was to factor. Factoring something with four terms, we do with factor by grouping. So group the first two, group the last two. Remember to take the sign with the third one. Greatest common factor in the first group would be 4x. Leaves behind a 2x and a plus 3. Okay, so when I look at that second bin, it's 2x plus 3, exactly what I leave behind. So we work that out by taking out a 1. So now I have the same thing in my parentheses, 2x plus 3. We'll go ahead and bring that out to the front. And then the second set of parentheses, remember our goal, second set gets everybody who got factored out, so 4x plus 1. And that is our answer. I'm going to take just a quick second to show you something I learned last year that sort of works with that. You have to do the same process right up until this step, until you get the 12 and the 2. So what you do then is you make a chart over here. And in these four cells, I'm going to put the terms that we came up with after we rewrote um, the trinomial. And it has to be the uh, leading term in the upper left, the constant term in the lower right, and then the 12x and the 2x, it doesn't matter where you put them, which one goes where in those two um, other bins. And then what you do is you just look for the greatest common factor going up and then going across. In this case, all of them are positive, so all of these would be positive. Otherwise, you take the sign of whatever the cell is that's closest to what you factor out. So 2x and a 3. The greatest common factor, that's just a 1. 12x and 8x squared. The greatest common factor, 4x. Now going across, 2x and 8x squared. Greatest common factor, 2x. Greatest common factor between 3 and 12x, that's a 3. Now if you notice, 2x and a 3, both positive. There's that 2x plus 3. 4x and a 1. There's the 4x plus 1. So this is a trick. If the factor by grouping, if you get yourself in trouble sometimes, you might try to use this little table to keep you straight.